we live in a different era. Like when I grew up, when I was little, if you wanted to learn something, you had a couple of choices. You could go to the library, get some books. You could find someone that was an expert on the subject that you wanted to learn about, talk to them and become kind of like an apprentice. Now, pretty much, if you want to learn how to do anything, there is a YouTube video for it. So, if I wanted to learn how to be a luchador, chances are I could go home right now, type how to be a luchador, and uh, there's probably a lot of awesome wrestlers that would teach me the skills to become a great luchador. (sighs) One of my mentors spent his life and this is a long time ago because like if i'm old he's really old seeking out all the experts of the world on various subjects uh martial arts for example mr gurr you know i don't fight anybody anymore but mr gurr has skills Uh, gurr needs to turn off the car there are other things that i've learned in my career of kindness and that's kind of why I'm here today. Like I picked up an accordion. I picked up a bucket with rocks in it to hold money. I put a walker in the back of my car. And more importantly, I put a gentleman named $2 Bill in this seat and drove him here to pick and save. Now, we have a gentleman's agreement, me and $2 Bill. He does not mind at all if I film him. So... I'm going to approach pick and save, hopefully not filming anybody that doesn't want to be filmed. So there might be some looking at my feet, which is okay. There's an elderly gentleman and a nice elderly lady pushing carts above in front of the camera. You know, I don't want to film them. I don't want to make them uncomfortable. I don't want to make them nervous. But I'm kind of looking at Bill, the way my friend might look at one of the greatest senseis of all time. Yeah, I don't know if Bill knows Kung Fu. I don't know if Bill knows karate. I don't know if he knows Krav Maga or Muay Thai. But you know what he knows? He knows kindness. It's time to learn at the feet of the master. Hey there, Winona. I absolutely love these mini notebooks. I got a huge box of them for Christmas last year. I always have one in my pocket, backpack, or car. If I ever need to write someone, I want to have one of my notebooks handy. Do you have a lot of friends, Winona? My son is finally starting to make some friends, and I'm very happy about that. Life sure is better with friends. I'm hoping that as this pen pal project takes off, you and Garrison can be friends. Garrison goes to Nina schools, so someday he will be a rocket. That is with the mascot of Nina. That is the mascot of Nina, the Rockets. What is your school mascot, Winona? If you were in charge of a brand new school, what mascot would you pick? You asked me a few questions. In your letter to me, you asked about scary movies. My favorite scary movie is the movie with a super simple title. It. I read that book when I was about 15 years old, and wow, it was a big book. Much bigger than this tiny notebook. When I saw the movie, it was cool seeing how my imagination was compared to the movie. Another scary movie I love also has a simple title. The Thing. It is a movie about an alien. But this this alien in the movie was mean. 
The other question you asked about was about the family pet. I need to take a picture of my boys and Tully. All the kids in our neighborhood love Tully. He is a black lab with a heart of gold. Garrison has an angel of a big brother named Gabriel. Gabriel has always been my favorite name. I wish I had been born with the name Gabriel. It is a much nicer, stronger, and more magic name than Gurr. And don't worry about how many R's are in Gurr. It changes all the time. I have three pens with me today, so I plan to use them all today. Here is a random question. Are you a fan of the... I... Powerpuff Girls? Well, I have a picture of them with a secret code on it. C-I-W-M-P. I put a contest on YouTube to see if anybody could guess what CIWMP stands for. CIWMP is an acronym. It stands for something like USA is the United States of America. Maybe we can see if you can guess what it stands for. As I write you each week, have you ever seen... Oh, the TV show Wheel of Fortune? Look at that. You like Wheel of Fortune, Bill? Yeah. You don't like you you Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune guy? Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal? Oh, that's a good show. Oh, God bless you, Bill. I love the prices, right? Maybe you can try to solve the puzzle. Let me know if you're interested and what prize you would like. I do not have a lot of money, but I do have a lot of heart, free time, and imagination. Those things are all better than money, in my opinion. I am a little sad today. There's a homeless man named Nick that has a dog named Lily that is sleeping under a bridge in Nina. I gave him a cup of coffee today in one of my favorite cups. My son Garrison gave me that cup, and my wife got mad at me that I would give it away. Well, I told Nick to hide that cup under a tree after he was done with it. There also might be a cake pan under that tree. It was my birthday a few days ago on October 9th. I baked a cake and gave it to the guys that sleep under the bridge. I was worried my baking would kill them. Blech. But they said it was delicious. Your birthday is coming up in November, I hear. I'll have to think of something special to do for you on your birthday. Bill, where's that beautiful music? Where's that beautiful music? I really want to help your grandma find her son, Nick. I'm good at a lot of things. Helping people is one of them. Drawing is not one of the things I am good at. There's me drawing the stick figure. But I do it every day anyway. I try to help people too, each and every day. You can help me, you know. Oh, now we're going to green. Time to put the girl in green. Each time you see your grandma Stacy, you make sure to give her a big hug. A hug has to last at least six, six seconds to work. It's magic. So when you give her a hug, count to 12. That is a double hug, like a double cheeseburger. 12 is my lucky number. She can't get that hug she needs from Nick right now, so you can give it to her. Double hugs are a good thing, and so are double cheeseburgers and hot dogs. My wife and I are going to make cheeseburgers tonight, and maybe I'll get some to the guys under the bridge. A police officer found them last night and got them some help. They might be sleeping in the bed tonight in Oshkosh. My wife just sent me a text with a kitty cat blowing a kiss. 
Say hi to your kitty. She is donating plasma right now. I wanted to donate too, but my veins are too small. That is funny. Just because I have big muscles, you would think the veins would be big too. Nope. My wife is being brave right now, but we both agree that you are one of the bravest people for sure. Big muscles can solve a lot of simple problems. But the muscle that helps most when things like cancer come along is the heart. The heart is the muscle that people remember most. I put your letter to me in my diary and hope there will be always one more coming. Today, I'm going to pester Garrison to write you another note. You guys can play tic-tac-toe and we can play Wheel of Fortune. So I'm serious. You think of a prize that you want to win. Holy cow, my notebook is almost empty. I plan on getting some stickers to put on the opposite page. Stickers would be much more professional than my doodles. Perfect timing. My wife just finished up her donation. My wife is an amazing writer. And you know what, Miss Winona? So are you. I will treasure these memories. They are special. Take care. And I cannot wait for your next letter, Mr. Gurr. Hey, oh man of my word, Bill. There's the sticker. Life is really good. You're not taking any donations, no one else.